And when I started mowing hay, and I did a video on that, somebody asked me if I had any tips about hay on a small scale. And I would have one tip. Don't do it. Of course, I don't follow that tip. It's like former Secretary of Agriculture Earl Butt said, among other things he said, get big or get out. See, the problem with haying on a small scale is the cost of equipment. You know, far outweighs the, the hay that you get. Now what I deal with is mostly cast off equipment. Stuff that people gave up on years ago. And I just patch it back together, do the best I can with it. But, you know, really, you'd be better off in the long run to just buy hay, you know, if you've only got a couple animals. Because it does cost you more than it's worth, you know, to do it. But, I like to be in the pedant, so I prefer to do my own. Even though, like I said, it's not economically feasible, I'd be better off, you know, spending, because I'll spend like maybe four days, maybe five days haying, a uh, constant struggle. Well, in two days of working at my regular job, I could easily pay for enough hay, you know, so it doesn't make sense that way. But like I say, I prefer to be independent. And this keeps the government completely out of it. It's my hay and, and there's no money changing hands. This, what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm putting a lot of new teeth in this old rake. This is like a $15 rake. And I'm putting about $80 worth of parts in it. <laughs> but... I was using that rake on, hooked on the tractor. One of those wheel type rakes that you see people commonly use. But I don't really care for them. They, they really don't do a very clean job. They leave so damn much hay. You know, they're what people like because you can go fast and do a lot of, at, you know, in a short period of time. But like I say, they, they leave so much hay. So I dug this old decrepit thing out of the bushes because this type of rake is a clean, clean sweeper, but she's been abused. It's actually an old John Deere. There's faint traces of paint left that the rust hasn't got to yet. But I was able to find, you know, brand new John Deere teeth for it. A little over three bucks a piece. But if I get it straightened out, she'll be a clean sweeper. Whereas them other things, you know, they kind of slide the hay around, but they never pick it up. See, these things are ground driven. They go at a fairly good speed, and they actually slough the hay. You know, the hay flies ahead of it. You know, they work really well. You know, there's a lot of, uh, like, New Holland rakes. There's a, a new idea rake that work on the same principle that are newer and that, that work nice. But they run around a thousand bucks. And there again, you know, for me, for the amount of hay I do, it doesn't really pay. But for, you know, this $15 rake, I can put a little money in here and come out all right. But that's my advice on small scale hand. But like I say, I don't follow it. Jake, where you going? That is Jake. Old pieces of machinery are always interesting to work on. You know, they're uh, intricately made, and it's funny sometimes. See, like this is there's a main shaft down here that is driven, 
geared to an idler that's geared to another gear that runs this. So these are all tying. But you can see here that one time this has been repaired and we blew that whole casting off. Very intricate castings too. But these things, you know, they're made so you can adjust them to, to get it to do exactly what you want it to do. Yeah, I said this thing was a John Deere. Right there is the proof. There's a stylized JD on it. <laughs> and just a fragment of, of paint on her. But she's got moss growing on her. I'm going to get her back to work. But I see there's a John Deere part number. <laughs> Go in there. See if you can order parts for it. I'm just glad I could find teeth for it. But I'm sure it's because they probably used the same ones for many years in the different John Deere rakes. They don't, they don't change, or they didn't change as often as they do now. Well, she clatters and complains, and squawks all the time, but she sweeps clean, and a clean sweep and rake is a thing of beauty. Sleep well, my sweeping beauty. Tomorrow we roll again. <laughs>